All right, so we have an array that was given to us in our work today. Um, it's here. We say that it's four taken three times. So we have a lot of questions we can answer about this, but there's some important terminology that you should know, and that is first the multiplier, which is the number of groups that we have, the multiplicand, which is the size of the group, and then the product, which is the answer. So we have the size of our group in our bead bar. We have a four bead bar. So now we know that the size of our group is four. So I'm going to go ahead and make a text box here and go ahead and indicate the size of our group, which is four. And this is our multiplicand. I'm going to go ahead and outline this box in red. And then we also know our multiplier or the number of groups that we have. We have, which is also considered the height for the column, which here's our height. We have one, two, three. We can also see we have one bead bar, two bead bar, three bead bars. So we also can now say that we know our multiplier is three. Or we have this repeated addition sentence here. We're also adding together four plus four plus four. So when we write a multiplication sentence, we can take our multiplicand, which is 4, and our multiplier, which is 3, and say 4 times 3 is 12. And we also now know we can so, uh, solve our repeated addition sentences. Um, so we have our group size of 4, or our row, and then we have our number of groups, or our height and columns, which is 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. So this is represented here in our array. We can also create a uh, family here of number sentences, just like we would with addition and subtraction. And we're going to do that by saying the opposite. We can do 3 times 4 is still going to be 12. And we can take our 3 bead bar that we have here and make it our group size. Therefore, it's going to be our multiplicand or our row. And if we were to take that 4 times, what you'll notice edit undo, <laughs> what you'll notice is when we stack them, we would get the same array size just flipped in a different direction. So this is the array for 3 times 4. Still have 12 beads, it's the same size, in fact we could um, turn it to see that they're the same, just it's how they're laid out differently. Um, so there's two number sentences that we can use for this. Um, when we talk about families with multiplication, we also have to think about division. And we know that division takes a large number, for example, our large number of 12, and divides it by smaller groups. So right now we have a total of 12. Right now we have a total of 12. And we're going to start dividing it and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my 12 bar, or my 10 bar here, to represent 10, and my 2 bead bar here so that it represents 12 total, which is how many is in our array below. If I were to take this number 12 and divide it, I'm going to go end to end, do my best to keep my beads as even as possible. So we have 12 total, 12 total beads here. And my two bead bars, just a little bit bigger than I'd like it to be. There we go. Um, and what we're going to do is divide it by four. So we have our four bead bar here. If I were to take these and divide them using my four bars, I have one, I have two, and I have three and four. So we can see that I'm able to line these up end to end and still equal end to end, as end to end as I can get them still equal 12 which we kind of already knew right but this time by taking that and dividing it using my four bar I was able to use one two three actual bead bars so if I took my 12 and I divided it by my four bead bar 
I'm only going to use three total bars, right? We can do the same thing using our three bead bar. And if we take our three bead bar, let's see, turn it on its edge, and we line it up, we've got one, two, three, it's a little bit off here, sorry. It's the problem with digital materials. But we'll go back in here in a second. Try to spruce it up for you. Four. All right. So we'll see here that nice lineup we have going to show that we can match up our beads, oops, bead for bead, and get our total of 12. So this time I took the number 12 and I divided it by the three bead bar and I used a total of one, two, three, four bead bars. 12 divided by three is four. This is our array work for today.